Hello and welcome to Silverstone for round one of the 2022 Bennett's British Superbike Championship. Something new for you here on a Friday after free practice too. We will talk to the top three riders who have made it directly through to Superpix qualifying Q2 for tomorrow. We're going to catch up with Stuart Higgs as well just before the start of this 2022 season. Uh, before we get into the full coverage over the weekend here in Easter. Let's uh, start by bringing you in P1 today, the fastest man after the combined practice sessions. Mikams Yamaha, Jason O'Halloran. Jason, uh, come and take a seat. Thanks for joining us. Um, must be really good to get back out on the bike, particularly with the sun shining here, because the test here last week uh, was not so pleasant. And particularly after everything that happened last year, get back up to speed. How was it out there? Yeah, it was really good. Um, last week was a bit of a write-off for me. You know, I wasn't really that confident out there in the conditions, and I took it quite steady. Um, so, yeah, really happy to get back on the pace today. Even though you take it steady, you still think, oh, am I going to be fast enough today? So it was nice to be up there in both sessions. Um, still working through a lot of our program because uh, although we've had quite a few days of testing, we haven't actually had that much time. Um, uh, still working through things with Les with, with setup options and, and not quite set on what we're doing yet, but... The positive thing for me is that I feel comfortable and I feel fast, even though we're still trying stuff. So, um, so yeah, we're going to get. I'm sure tomorrow morning we'll probably finalise our setting for the weekend, um, and uh, I'm sure there's still some improvements to come. And uh, yeah, feeling feeling really confident. Jason, of course, riding solo this weekend for the McCams Yamaha team. We have to mention that defending champion, your teammate Taryn McKenzie, not racing uh, here this weekend. Uh, in terms of building on what happened last year. Uh, it must have been a difficult winter, but how confident are you that you can get back to that winning form straight away? Yeah, obviously, the end of last year was disappointing for me not to win the championship. Um, uh, on the flip side of that, great for the team to win the championship. So um, we're obviously back to try and replicate that this year. Um, I started strong at Snetterton, and topped that test. Uh, the test here was a little bit down the order, but back up front again today. Hungry than ever, I want to start winning races. That's the that's the feeling that I'm I'm after. I want to start winning races from this weekend, um, and just sort of ease into the year. I feel a lot more calm and confident than what I did this time last year. Last year I was sort of I was at the front straight away, but I was using a lot of energy to be there as well. Whereas this time I'm a lot more confident and calm. So um, yeah, looking forward to building into the year. It's a long season, uh, and I'm sure we're gonna have a good one. Well, Jason, you've topped the timesheets here on uh, Friday. Congratulations. Good luck. Uh, throughout the weekend and into Q2 tomorrow, and we'll hopefully see you on the box soon. Cheers, guys. Thanks to Jason O'Halloran, then. Fastest today on Friday for round one of the Bennett's British Superbike Championship. Let's now speak to the man who finished in second here today, Rich Energy OMG Racing Yamaha rider, Kyle Ride. Kyle, welcome over. Beautiful day out there. <laughs> Very Shorts warm, yeah. T-shirt day, by yeah. the looks of things. I didn't realise I was going to be sat down or something. I have a put some trousers on. <laughs> Kyle, it's been a, a really, really positive uh, winter testing schedule for you guys, of course, both yourself and Brad Ray, moving over to the Yamaha, and it looks like it's suiting you both really well. Well done today. Yeah, um, Snetterton, obviously, uh, I only got one day, which was a bit unfortunate because the weather was just like it is now today, but yeah, we, we made a, another plan, and yeah, we just didn't panic, really, and uh, we've come to Silverstone where the weather's nice, and yeah, I just feel good on the bike, and made a plan for today and stuck to it and everything's gone to plan, so perfect. What have your winter preparations been like as well, Kyle? Um, so much talent, you feel like this bike and you now, you can really fulfill your p uh, potential? Yeah, um, it, it was just nice. Obviously we've been to, it was a shame we didn't go to Donington. Uh, obviously the, the weather wasn't Snow. great, yeah. <laughs> but um, yes, Snetterton and Silverstone are pretty far apart from each other and I felt good at, at both. So yeah, um, I've definitely done more training than what I ever have done before. I know it's a very big opportunity to try and do well in this championship and big things for my career, so I'm just putting everything into it and hopefully we can kickstart that by having a good result tomorrow and Sunday. And a quick word on the competition as well, Kyle, coming into this weekend. Um, you can't fail to notice how close it is out there. 24 riders today covered by nine tenths of a second. Yeah, I'd, I think I had a look. I, I forgot actually it was 12 people. I thought it was 10 that got through, but yeah, I think 12th place was 0.3 off, so it's I mean, I know it's quite a small track, but it's so it's so tight. It's um, but we've all been in that position. I've been there last year in 13th, 14th, and just missing out. But yeah, those people get a little bit of an extra session tomorrow in Q1 to try and make it even closer. Well, hopefully you're going to have a fantastic season, Kyle. Thanks for talking to us today. Good luck for the rest of the weekend. Thank you very much. And we uh, have now third place here today. Delighted to welcome FS3 Racing Kawasaki rider Lee Bob Jackson. Lee Jackson, 
take a seat, still in your leathers after a, a debrief, uh, I presume, a really positive test for you, positive day as well. How are you feeling? Yeah, today I wouldn't say surprised me because obviously I've worked all winter to you know build the sharp end, but we tested here last week in not so nice conditions and I struggled just to get comfy on the bike and put a good lap time in. So coming here this weekend, it was about resetting, you know, round one, refresh and let's go. And we've had a really strong day today, worked through everything we need to and just basically like, just get laps, you know, just put loads of laps on the bike, loads of laps on the tyres and I'm feeling good. So looking forward to going again tomorrow. How is the Kawasaki feeling as well in the 2022 spec, Lee? You were so unlucky to miss out on a showdown place last year. Uh, I'm sure you're really hungry to try and put that right and get Kawasaki back on the top step again. Yeah, last year we got a bit unfortunate towards the end of the season. Obviously missed out on the showdown, but I know myself we rode pretty well for the majority of the season. Obviously there's a few rounds where I, I could improve, so this year that is the goal. We've got a lot more backing from Kawasaki UK and some more you know, parts that have come towards us from Europe. So the bike's really good. The team's worked hard with all winter and you know, we've got the, the best package we can to go racing. And, and finally, Lee, um, you know, rule number one is always beat your teammate. Rory's obviously had a, a full season now. He'll be expecting to be up there. That must give you a bit more energy and hunger as well because he's going to be really competitive as well this year. Yeah, that's right. You know, Me and Rory have got on really well this off-season and probably come a bit closer. But like you say, in racing, as soon as the helmet goes on, it's always one and one to beat your teammate. And Rory's got a lot of talent. He's probably beat me so far in testing terms. But hopefully this weekend we can you know, not put that to bed. But I'm hoping to have a strong weekend and just get the best points possible and move on to round two. Well, hopefully we speak to you again for the rest of this weekend, Lee. Good luck. Thank you very much. Third place then uh, today on Friday here at Silverstone, Lee Jackson. Before we leave you, of course, ahead of Easter weekend with all the racing action, delighted to welcome over series director Stuart Higgs now. Stuart, the trophy's here. What a season this looks like being. Um, you must be really, really excited. It looks like the sun's shining here. It's all set up perfectly. The ingredients are all there. <laughs> I fear to say it's finally poised is a bit of an understatement. I mean, we know on short tracks you sometimes get a bit of an artificial result in terms of narrow times, but we've never had, I think, 24 riders within uh, 0.9, and I think top 12 going through straight to Q2, I think we're talking about uh, 0.4. I mean, the depth of field this year is just uh, astonishing, and... You know, the margins are small and um, it's almost a bit daunting, if I'm honest, Steve. In terms of welcoming the fans back, of course, that started to happen really well last year. But does this, in terms of your preparation, does this feel like almost back to normal again now? Yeah, absolutely. And I'll be honest, it's an absolute shock to the system. I mean, obviously, the, the stresses and the, the uncertainties of 2020 and, and also to 2021 was, a, was an even weirder year because I think... We, we were more optimistic than we perhaps should have been and it was it was a, a, a bit of bitter blow to be so disrupted. But having two years where the championship didn't start in the case of 2020 in August and 2021 in uh, July and then all of a sudden it's April. Yeah, it's regular, but all the old stresses are back. English testing, snow, sun in about three days difference. Um, and that just adds to the, the angst with it all. But yeah, the championship's finally poised. We just can't wait to get going now. Us too. Thanks very much, Stuart. Best of luck here this Thank weekend. You. That wraps things up here then on Friday at Silverstone. Round one of the Bennett's British Superbike Championship is finally here for 2022. You cannot miss the action here this weekend. Super Picks qualifying drama with you tomorrow between one and two on Discovery Plus. And then live coverage begins with race coverage build up at 3.30 on Eurosport 2 and on Discovery Plus. And of course, on race day, Easter Sunday, join us from one o'clock live again here at Silverstone on Eurosport 2 and on Discovery Plus.